Okay, so I just want to hop on real quick and give you some directions on this assignment. That way you have an idea of what I expect and what uh, needs to be done. Um, so this assignment is going to be about researching something that you want to learn about um, and something that you find interesting. Um, so what we're going to do and start off with is we're going to come up with five questions that we want to know the answer to. Uh, five questions we don't know the answer to yet. Um, so we want to make sure that we don't know the answer to these because we are going to be uh, investigating them and we want to be able to learn something from our investigations. Our next thing is to pick a question we want to investigate. So what question did you decide to focus on for this investigation? So you're going to take a look at those five questions and pick one of them. So one of the five questions you came up with. Um, and then you'll type it below in that space. Uh, why did you choose this question? Um, so go beyond just because it was interesting. What specific reasons did you pick to uh, want to do this question? What of your classes do you think this question relates to? Math, science, English, history, um, you could have more than one, any combination of one. Maybe there's a different class you think it relates to. You can put that down too as well. All right. So what do you already know about this topic? So describe it everything you think you know about this topic or subject. If this slide is really, really, really full, you might want to go back and pick something you don't know as much about. That way you're learning something new during this assignment. So our next portion of our assignment is our explore portion. So you're going to research your question. You're going to use Google search to explore your question and add the information you are finding below. Be sure to collect enough information to explain, uh, for your explain portion. So you have this slide to collect information and the next slide. You can always add more slides if you need. Um, I thought two would be fairly sufficient for our purposes and what we're doing. And then my sources. You'll need at least three sources uh, for this assignment. So make sure you come up with three credible sources. Our next portion is our explain portion. Um, so you have two choices. Your first choice is to record a video sharing what you learned. Um, I would recommend using Screencastify. I have it on mine. Um, it's fairly easy to use. It's fairly simple. Um, you just add it onto Chrome. You create. You can just log in with Google, and then um, click the record button if you want to have it. So you're recording your um, desktop. You can or your webcam. I included a tutorial right here. Um, if you want to use something else, I also have Loom that I like to use as well. Uh, if I'm recording a longer video, um, so. You can add Screencastify to your Chrome browser. You can also do something else. If you have a different video um, recording that you like to use, that's fine. You can use it. Um, just make sure it's a three minute video or screencast sharing what you learned during your investigation. So looking back at that research and making sure you're organizing it so it makes sense into a video. I, Begin by presenting the question you asked, describing what you learned by conducting your research, and then you're going to insert your video into the next slide. Um, so uh, with Screencastify, it show, it saves right to your Google Drive, um, so you can just put it in, insert it from Google Drive. Um, with other ones, it might not, um, and you might be, have to link it or upload it to YouTube or do something else to share it which is why I recommend Screencastify, because it saves right to Google Drive. All right, your other choice is to write 500 words about you, what you learned. Uh, create a document and write 500 words about what you learned. Start by stating your question. Describe what you learned by conducting research. Tell us what we should do with the information you gave us and add a link to the document on this slide. So you're just gonna put a link somewhere on the slide to your document so I can view it later. And then our last portion is our elaborate, well, second to last, elaborate portion. Uh, you're going to make some connections. So uh, um, our first question on this slide 
is how can you connect what you learned to your classes at school. So think about the different classes you're taking. What did you learn to either skills you practiced or uh, content you learned? How could you relate that back to your classes at school? And how does it connect to any of your prior knowledge? So things you knew before starting this investigation. And then uh, what are you taking away from this event investigation? What information did you learn? Be specific. What specific things did you learn? What skills did you use during this investigation? So research and writing are probably going to be one of them. What other kinds of skills did you learn? And did this investigation generate new questions? Do you have any additional questions after um, this investigation? And if so, what are they? And I'd also encourage you, if you do, uh, take some time to try and answer those questions. Um, our last portion is to evaluate. All right, so it's just a quick exit ticket. There's three different questions. So describe the process you used during your investigation. So how did you to conduct your research? And then how has your understanding of this concept changed or developed during your investigation? So where did you start and where did you end? Um, in your understanding of your question. And then what misconceptions or misunderstandings did you have at the beginning of this process? So is there something that you thought earlier that you actually found out was wrong? All right, so this is what you're gonna be completing instead. Um, uh, the Greek gods and goddesses project is lasting until uh, through next week. Um, so we'll make this just so it's fair due at the end of next week. There are going to be some additional assignments uh, that will be posted. For example, you do need to still complete your attendance every day because um, that is required and it will have a reflection next week over our school year that you will also need to complete. Um, uh if you have any questions please let me know i know this was pretty quickly put together and um i know it's it's something a bit different than the other kids are doing but i really want you to have an opportunity to practice some of those research skills and to uh, um, hopefully learn something new too as well all right if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you later bye